Hi, my name is Alexandra. I teach math and computer science. When I was a student, I was super shy. And maybe it was that comfort level that I didn't have with my teachers, but I never really asked questions. And I think that was one of my biggest like downfalls. I didn't ask questions, but if I could go back in time, I would definitely ask way more questions just because that would have helped me understand so much more. It's scary to ask a question in a classroom full of other students. You don't want to seem like you're it's like asking a silly question or kind of get people to like think about, oh, why are you asking that question? And I think that's why tutoring is such a great thing. It allows for that personal connection and allows for you to ask millions and millions of questions if you have them. Feeling overwhelmed is a very common thing. And I, I don't think it's talked about that often, to be honest, because we all feel like, okay, I need to be a student and that's my main thing. But Everybody gets overwhelmed and it's a totally normal thing. Uh, for me personally, I like to go on walks and that kind of brings my, my calm level back down and it lets me think about how I'm going to go through my next process. What's my next step going to be? Taking a step back really helps a lot because sometimes we're so, so focused and embedded into school um, that we don't see like the bigger picture. And that's a really big struggle. I've failed it quite a few times, right? It's, it's a natural process of learning. And for me, it taught me a lot, right? So sometimes we don't go through failures and that's completely great, right? We are, everything's going well, but then it hits us and it's not the greatest feeling right when it happens, but we're able to take a look at whatever we didn't do as well on or whatever we failed on and say, okay, what's my next step? What did I do when I was trying to study for this or trying to do this assignment? What didn't work so well, what made me get that not great mark or what made me not do so well on this? And then let's not do that for the next time. Let's try to plan ahead a little bit and let's try to modify our approach just so that we can try not to do the same thing. Grades don't define us, honestly. You can have so much knowledge about something and your grades might not show it. But for me, growth, it's just being able to one day, maybe you don't understand something and then the next day you do. And that's growth because you were at step one and you worked a little bit, you did some stuff here and now you're on step two. And that's growth. Growth is never linear. You're going to have up and downs. You're, you're going to understand something one day, then you're going to introduce a new concept and then, oh, that understanding goes away. But as long as we're able to keep going and try to get that understanding to come back, that's growth. The point of tutoring is to find somebody that you're comfortable with, find somebody who you think can bring out the best in you and that you feel you can ask millions and millions of questions with. And I think that's something that is really important, that comfortable level.